Pricing is very critical in today's real estate market. How harmful can it be to continually reduce your listing price once your home is on the market? Dr. Ken Johnson, a very well-known scholar with numerous publications in real estate brokerage, transactional real estate, and real estate investment, did the research and found that there actually are many negative effects. This question haunts brokers, agents, as well as many sellers of properties every single day. At the present, there does not seem to be a consensus answer to this question within the real estate community. Fortunately, this question was scientifically investigated by Professor John R. Wright. Unfortunately, few people know the results of Professor Knight's research. In Knight's research, the impact of changing properties listing price is investigated. Additionally, the types of properties that are most likely to experience a price change are also estimated. The findings from this research indicate that, on average, Properties which experience a listing price change take longer to sell and suffer a price discount greater than similar properties. Furthermore, bigger price changes are found to experience even longer marketing times and greater price discounts. Sellers as well as brokers and agents should be aware of the critical necessity of getting the price correct from the start. Sellers wanting to overlist will ultimately take longer to sell and will sell their property for less on average, according to Knight. Brokers and agents who take a listing at the wrong price, only trying to get the price later, will ultimately lead to them working harder and they're really not doing any favors for their sellers. Thus. An initial and detailed analysis of the proper, proper price is much more critical than many originally thought. We have also completed local stats for ourselves, which show the difference between the price sellers receive for their homes and market time, depending on their original list price. In our results, sellers who started too high, thinking they can come down at a later date, received on average 3% less in their selling price. But more importantly, it took them an average of 228 days longer to sell that house. This is also known as chasing the market. Because the price was too high from the start, the subsequent price changes are not enough to keep up with the depreciating market and therefore taking more time to find the right price. And when that happens, the price has dropped dramatically. Therefore, get the price right from the beginning. It is the best for everyone involved. Thanks, and make it a great day.